So here we go. Today is the day you guys have asked for this. When are you going to do the RV tour? When's the new RV tour coming up? We're here it finally is. ready. Well, we're ready ish. There's a few things for you ladies I still have to do, but just follow the Insta stories for those. If you don't know if you're following for the first time or if you're watching this video, checking us out for the first time, we are a Loftus party of six. Last year, almost a year ago, we sold our house and we went full time RV living. Back then, we had a truck and a fifth wheel. And now we have this monstrosity behind me. This is a class A motorhome. And we have this beside us, which is our Jeep it's Wrangler. Fun. It's our toy. We want to show you guys how we live in this RV, how we set everything up, where we sleep, where we eat. All the things. All the things, as Lane loves to say. So Lane's going to be our tour guide. Come on over. Come on in. That's all done. <laughs> All right, folks, here we go. Welcome home. La, da, da, da. Ooh. <laughs> show us what you've done. Okay, so show us how you've redone everything. Show behind you first, because okay. that's the first thing. Pretend like I moved these and that this looks perfect. So, we have a TV. We love Andy Griffith and Little House on the Prairie. That's what we do with our life. This is Michael's little heaven this right here. This is my here. captain's chair. And let me just show you, since motherhood, my, my living, has been like this in a seat, hasn't it, babe? Yep. Like this or leaned over nursing a baby in a car seat. Look at this. Would you look at that? <laughs> look at that. And it reclines. Yeah. But I haven't got to do that more than like 10 minutes out of a 16 hour drive because I have four kids still. So let's talk about that. <laughs> we love this area. This is my favorite area of the whole entire RV. Beforehand, there was a really cool table here a fold-out table that Michael wanted to keep. We can all agree that I was right in my thinking. It was cool, but we didn't use it. And then there was nothing here, was there? Oh yeah, they had an entertainment center and PlayStation. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They had an so anyways, we took all that out and bought this. We love having a fireplace. It just, in the mornings we turn on, even if it's a hot summer outside, we don't use the heat. We just use it to set the tone for the day. We love it. We got so, that on Overstock. Com. And so one thing I haven't done that I'm going to do is put Velcro command strips on the bottom of these so I don't have to move this stuff every time we travel. I'm excited Great idea. <laughs> and then right behind you is our bedroom slash living room. Which we will show you in a little bit. Yes, so this is our hangout. I love my pillow. Isn't that pretty? This is nice. This is our hangout. We've got um Okay, first of all, we got a letter board, and I'm excited about that because my first one, and I got it for four dollars. LPO six man, I just think it's cute because I'm gonna. My next thing I'm gonna write in there is funny. I've already got it in my head. Okay, so we've got our medicine cabinet, we've got our post office, we've got our oils, things like that, and our junk drawer, and this is our lo little lavender pillow spray for the once a month that I actually remember to spray our pillows, and just cute stuff. Okay, so this has been hard for me. Whenever we first moved in here, I thought, wow, we have so much cabinet space, but I can't use it all for kitchen stuff. So I'm still learning this. Um, but anyways, in here is all the spices. This is a, obviously an old label. There's no hardware in there. And then up here, <laughs> see what I mean? Okay, actually, so, you're not gonna show this, okay? Okay. Okay, now you're going to show. Okay. And up here is all of our food. We like, just went to Aldi's, so that's why we're stocked. Yeah, yes, because Aldi's is life, and we just realized that it's actually just Aldi. Aldi. But we already call it Aldi's, so it's Aldi's stuff. Kind of like how some people call it Walmart's. Walmart's. That might just be Go our family Walmart's. that says that. So. <laughs> um, and then, so this is going to be our, this one I thought I would be able to use for food too, but it's got to be our homeschool stuff and preschool stuff because this is where we're gonna be doing most of that, I think. You know, we, this is our first really trip out. And if, oh, there's a cat in here. <laughs> Get out of here, cat. <laughs> if I've learned anything, I've learned that everything changes and we roll with it. So in my head right now, I think we're gonna homeschool there and it'll be perfect, but that might change, I have no idea. 
So we were very excited about this. We thought this was so cool. It's not that big of a deal. It's not, it's not as great as you think. I know you're thinking, Lane, that's great. But so many things don't fit in here. It's weird and awkward. I don't even know how to explain it. Like the cereal boxes, it can only fit one. Well, we're six people. We need at least three or four boxes of cereal. You should so show them where we have a cereal box right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. that, there's that. <laughs> Obvious, oh, there's stuff spilt in there. But anyways, obviously, we're using the refrigerator for storage because I don't know where else to put everything. And when I go to Aldi, I get as much as we can possibly fit. In fact, we have food in the basement too. So this is new to us. Yep. Um, I feel like I should be filming you. No, it's okay. Like we so should be doing I, stuff together. No, it's okay. Get your face in here. So yeah, first time having a residential fridge. We're not sure about it. We love the size. We're not sure about using it for RV life and it being only for electric because of the fact that we boondock a lot. And so this could be something we upgrade to an actual RV fridge that has dual electric and propane so that we can use it when we're boondocking. But And I know it sounds crazy, but I was used to the little fridge. Like yeah. I was used to it. No food ever got wasted because you only got what you could eat that week and then you ate it all up and then you went and got more food. And I can already tell that that's not happening with this. So. Yeah. I would rather have more storage in a smaller fridge because you do get used to that. You can get used to it. Now, if anybody has any tips or, su or suggestions, the big problem with us getting RV fridge is I've looked them up and they're like three grand. I don't understand why, because you can get a residential fridge way, way cheaper, but we'd love to have one. So if you know where to get one at a reasonable price, let me know. Wait, wait, are we skipping stuff? Oh, oh, we have a microwave. Am I supposed to do this? Okay. Yeah. So, so we have all this. Spices. <laughs> flour, sugar, this because it just wouldn't fit anywhere else. Like I'm I'm still figuring all this out. I got extra coffee cups and I'm happy about it. Coffee that. cups, coffee, and then plates and cups and everything is just in those Oh, drawers. they're all over here. Yeah. Michael still obviously hasn't listened to me when I told him where everything belongs. Yeah. I, I love it. I think we've got a good little setup right there. That's all a person needs. Okay, so just to kind of let you know, whenever we bought this, was the previous owner put in new flooring. And so we came in, painted everything. We used Beyond Paint, which we love. We did a darker color. It's called Pewter on the bottom, white on the top. And then I came through and did wallpaper all on this side. The dinette was original. The couch is not. We actually bought that. The other one was hideous looking, had dog hair on it. And so we've done a lot to make this home. I'll mention the subway tile. We've had a lot of people ask about the subway tile. Yeah, I want to talk about that. So the subway tile that we bought, uh, I made, the, I don't remember. I think I made the mistake. I won't blame it on you. I'm pretty sure it was me. But I don't know. Nice. <laughs> but anyway, one of us purchased on Amazon the subway tile and I stuck it up there and put it up, spent hours doing it and it would not yes. stick at all. Like it kept coming down. So what do you do? What does a country feller do in that situation? You get out? Well, you get aggravated <laughs> for one. Gorilla glue. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> You get aggravated and then you break out Gorilla Glue so, and you start Gorilla Gluing in behind it to try and make it stick. Did. But then it just got worse because the Gorilla Glue, as you know, kind of expands and so it really started pushing out it, it, so it didn't work. And so Bad I thought we're going to have to replace all of it because you can't just tear some of it down. So we, I took all of it down and then went on Amazon and then realized that what we had done was bought Subway Tile and it says on there, less sticky for easy removal. It says that in the description. But we shop, we were shopping like 1 a.m. because yeah. we have four kids, so that's the only time we have to shop. But why would you even make why would you even make that stuff to, to have it removed? I don't. But understand. anyways, this stuff is great. So we rebought new stuff. Just make sure you read it's what stuck. you're buying. I'll leave the link to what we bought in the description below. So if you want to do it, you can. But this stuff's way way better. I stuck it up, no problem. It's good to go. It wipes down well. It's easy to wipe down. We love it. We should definitely talk about this. I didn't oh, yeah. plan on it. But we're loving this. There's a, anybody want a Cheerio? This is perfect. It comes off very easily. You can just loosen it and pull it right off, which honestly, I doubt that we'll ever do. I say you can do that. Oh, yeah, yeah it was just stuck because yogurt. <laughs> but you can just pull it off and there's like a little backpack thing you can stick it in. So you can bring it to restaurants or whatever if you wanted. We probably will never do that. We love it. It's great. It's little. I don't feel like we have to put it away because it doesn't take very much space. 
Sorry. And that's where Gabriel sits whenever we have lunch, dinner, or breakfast. Yeah. But that's another thing we love is in our fifth wheel, we sit on the couches to eat, which I have no regrets about because we were able to all be together. That's my biggest thing. But Grady, Layla, and Jason all sit over here for now. Gabriel there and Michael and I there. So we can all sit around a table, which blesses my heart. So I love that. Okay, so can I tell them about it? Yeah. When we were in Waco, when we went to Magnolia, I saw the sign and I loved it. And I took a picture. Michael was out in the lawn with the kids. Do you remember this? Mm -hmm. And I took a picture of it and sent it to him. I said, this is so us. But I didn't get it because it was kind of expensive and I didn't have a place for it. But then when we got this, this was like the perfect. Is this not it was, perfect? It's perfect. So it's a metal. It's super thin. Which we had to do because the slide yeah. comes in here. Yeah, the slide's right there. So you only have like maybe an inch and a half of room there. And there was just a mirror there, hideous looking, tore it down. <laughs> and then so this fits perfectly. It does in every and way. And it fits and us perfectly. We journal, or I should say, I journal to each of the kids and Michael and I journal to each other. But I w had slacked on that in the fifth wheel because they weren't out and about. So I've got them out in hopes that I'll journal better. So this is our bathroom. This is our shower. I'll show you the inside just so that you know what you have to do sometimes to make things work. We've got each person has a towel. Each person has one towel and that's where they hang. What stinks about that is when you take a shower, you got to take them all out, lay them in the basket, take a shower, whatever. But this works for us. They make great command hooks that are that can get wet. And I love this line too. That's beautiful. Remember, it's seven mm -hmm. bucks. And you said, why did you get that? And I said, because it's seven bucks. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> and so we all share a bathroom, which is fine. We had two bathrooms in the fifth wheel. And we, after a few months of that, realized we really don't need two bathrooms. We'd rather have a shorter rig. So... That's a sacrifice, I guess you could say, but we don't mind it. Our toilet room is in here. It's very simple. So I just put toilet paper and all that stuff up there. We've got our towels here. I will show you this, even though it does have a lot of dirty laundry. But there was a um, washer and dryer there. That never worked for our family. We just we go through a lot of clothes, and it's easier for us to just wear them all and then go to a laundry mat for two hours and be done with it. Um, so we took that out and we're using it for our dirty clothes hampers. And then, come on in, this is my favorite too. I know I said that about something else, the fireplace. This is my second favorite. Yes, yeah, so this, this is, is a kids room. This is a cool room. So typically, a class A is just gonna have this as your master, but we had to design this to work for our four kids. My mom heart was very, very worried, wasn't it, baby? Yes. I was very worried about how this would work and how I could make it special to them. and. And um, whenever we got it all set up and I showed it to them, they love it. They think it's the coolest thing ever. And so I'm, I love it too. So Layla sleeps up there. She's got her own little area, a dream catcher. That was special to her and her little feathers. Um, and then the boys sleep down here. I want to show you guys. This is Betty's bedding. Okay. The best thing ever in the whole entire world. <laughs> Seriously, you can make your bed in two seconds. We want this for all of us at some point, but for now we just have it for the boys. But it literally so easily unzips. And then they just crawl in. It's like a sleeping bag. It's like a bed sleeping bag. How cool is that? So Jason sleeps over here. Grady sleeps over there. It's so simple. It's so cozy. That feels like, you know, the baby blankets that are really awesome. That's what that feels like. I love it. I want this for myself. So we love it, love it, love it. If you have not ever got Betty's bedding, it's perfect, especially for kids. It's good to get them in the habit of making their beds, and this makes it simple. See, it's just like a sleeping bag. just zips right up. And so um, I've just got pull-ups and stuff in there, and then up here is just their stuff. Like, that's Layla's special cabinet. They each have a special area. Oh, and I'm really excited about this. This is a butterfly. We're gonna uh, grow butterflies, right, in this little nut thing. We have caterpillars that are supposed to be delivered today. So this will be like, we're gonna kick off homeschool with this fun activity, and we'll switch up fun things to do in this area. The books we thought would be a problem as far as them moving, but before we leave, we just make sure they're really, really tight in there, and so far it's worked. All I have to do is move the train and lay that down. Okay, so how do six people have room for all their clothes in here. I don't know. I don't have it mastered, but I feel like I'm doing pretty daggum good. And y'all need to tell Michael that because sometimes he gets a little gripey. 
He says he can't get his clothes. Well, anyways, <laughs> this is Michael's area. <laughs> um, yeah, from about there on is Michael's, and that's okay because he's fine with it. Yep. And then that's mine. Now, ladies, come on now. That's good right there. Let me tell you, that's good. That's all my stuff. And then um, we each have one drawer except for Mama has two. <laughs> So, Imagine that. I know, but you know what? That gamut, I deserve it. So those are my drawers. There's Daddy's drawer. He did it his own way. He you're marches showing, to you're the you're beat. Showing them my underwear. Woo woo! His own drum. And then Layla and Gabriel share a drawer, and then Grady and Jason share a drawer. And then this is the kids' closet. All four kids in that order. So Gabriel, Jason, Layla, and then Grady. And then all their shoes are just there in little totes. Perfect. Crazy, huh? Yep. But it works. It does get crowded. I do love clothes. And I'm going to buy more. But I do try to get rid of ones that I'm not wearing. So if I buy something, I try to get rid of things. I'm used to because Michael made me. But now because I kind of like to do that. <laughs> now we'll show you our bedroom. All right. So this is our bed. And I was totally against. Having a pull-out couch bed, wasn't I, babe? Yep. I wanted a day bed. I had it in my head. That was the best way. And I was wrong because this is amazing. We love it. The couch is very comfortable during the day. And it's just this easy to do everything at night. And if y'all are curious why we sleep out here, instead of having the kids sleep out here, is because we try to, you know, put the kids down to bed earlier, you know, 8.30ish. Yeah. And mommy and daddy still want to stay up and enjoy yeah. coffee and... Not have to worry about being loud. Wham. Boom. But our pillows, we just store under here. There's a bench, so we just get our pillows out and our bed's already made. And this is how quick. I mean, literally in the mornings, usually in the mornings, we have kids come in and snuggle with us. But then when we're ready for coffee and breakfast, like it's just, it's that simple. Very it's simple. It's not a problem at all. We never go like, we never don't make our bed because it takes a minute to do it. All right, guys, so thank you so much for watching the inside tour. Now, Lane is going to go do what she does best, and that's be a mommy. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Now, I'm going to take you outside and show you some of the things outside the basement, what it looks like. Have All fun right. with that. Thanks. And if the basement's a mess, it's because I wasn't in control. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Bye, guys. Dad.